As I mentioned in my previous video, I'm in charge of designing and developing the required hardware and software to characterize and test electronic chips. To understand why engineers even need to develop hardware and software, we first have to understand the tools required. Let's begin with a car example. Before you can test a car for its handling, horsepower, braking, etc., you would need specific tools that will allow you to stimulate and measure the parameters of the car. In this case, you would need a track, a driver, a dyno, etc. In the same manner, an electronic chip needs specific tools to stimulate and measure its performance parameters. These tools are the hardware known as electronic test equipment, which is used to create signals and capture responses. You might be familiar with these instruments as they are found in a typical electrical engineering laboratory. The type of instrument used will depend on what kind of device you are trying to measure. For example, a multimeter will be able to measure DC voltages, currents, and resistance, while an oscilloscope will be able to measure voltages that vary with time and be able to plot them in a voltage versus time graph. Both are instruments that measure, but they serve a different purpose. In my day in the life video, I actually showcase an oscilloscope, which is the instrument that plots voltage versus time. So this is where the hardware and the software come in. One of the main tasks is to create the hardware and software that will interface between the electronic chip and the instrumentation. On the hardware side, this involves using CAD software like Cadence to design the circuit board to connect to the electronic chip and the instrumentation. And on the software side, an integrated development environment or IDE is used to program the instrumentation to control the stimulus like applying voltages to power on the device and capture the responses like an output amplified signal. For this video, let's set up a very easy scenario that would hopefully give you an idea of what to expect in terms of hardware and software development once you become an engineer. Let's say an electronic chip was given to you to characterize. The electronic chip is an amplifier. The specification to characterize is the gain and the condition is temperature between 0 degrees and 100 degrees Celsius. We know that gain is equal to the ratio between the output amplitude and the input amplitude. If you don't know what the amplitude is, check your trigonometry textbook. So basically, the gain will be the measured signal divided by the stimulus. So for this specification, we will need an instrument that can source out a signal and one that can capture it. So we can use a signal generator to generate the sine wave and an oscilloscope to capture it and measure the amplitude. Next, we will need an instrument that will control the temperature, and for this we can use an instrument called a thermal control unit. Next, we will develop the hardware to interface between the instruments and our amplifier. So you will have to go on Cadence and Allegro and design your circuit board to have a trace connected to the amplifier pin and a connector to connect a cable from your signal generator to the amplifier. And the same is needed for the output. So for this example, maybe your circuit board will look like this. On the input of the amplifier, you will connect the signal generator and on the output, the oscilloscope. Now let's go on to the software. For software, you would have to control two instruments, the oscilloscope to capture and measure the signals and the thermal control unit to control temperature. Technically, we can also control the signal generator, but for simplicity, we will consider it a constant. So, for a single input voltage, we would program the source instrument to output a sinusoidal waveform at some given voltage and keep it on the entire time. The output will be dependent on temperature. So, let's say we are going to do steps of 1 degrees. For this, we would need programming skills. And if you've done any programming, you will realize that all this can be easily done with a loop, where you will set a variable equal to the starting temperature, in our case 0 degrees, set the temperature equal to the number, and capture the signal once the instrument reaches that temperature. We will come back, increase our variable by 1, set the instrument to 1 degrees, wait, measure another amplitude, and so on. We can then save these values in an array and plot out the gain as an output and the temperature as an input. And this is basically what characterization is. Of course, for the purposes of this video, I try to simplify it as much as possible, but at its core, this is what I essentially do. 
Of course, there are many challenges and a lot of work involved, and the electronic chips are a lot more complex than the amplifier mentioned. But hopefully, this gave you a good idea of how I use hardware and software to do my job. After all the software is written to control the instruments and characterize my device, data is collected, analyzed, and feedback is given to designers and manufacturers to either make changes to the design or the manufacturing process, and then do it all over again. Before the final design is chosen and the device goes into your consumer electronics, all this has to be done several times. So hopefully this was useful for all you future engineers. And if you have any more questions, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.